like the passage of time, each corner of the world has its own stories of valor, heroism, and development. Today, join us on a journey to many places filled with memories and reflections. In this historical vlog, you are with history in gathering knowledge about our history. One of the important and historical places in the Philippines is the Malacanang Palace. It has been the official residence of the President of the Philippines since the Spanish era. According to stories, the place where Malacanang Palace stands today was once inhabited by the prominent person or Lacan. Because of this, people called the place Malacanang, which means residence of the powerful. Up to this day, it is known as Malacanang Palace, the official residence of the President of the Philippines. The Bahay Ugnayan Museum contains various exhibits about the life of our current president, Bongbong Marcos Jr. The content of this museum changed with each presidential term depending on who is in office. Each exhibit here is truly captivating. After the term, each president's memorabilia are moved to the nearby Thies Mansion. Built in 1920, it showcases the luxurious lifestyle during the American period. The Theist Mansion has witnessed various significant events in Philippine history. Here you will find exhibits from the very first president to the last one before the current administration. Next stop is Naliwasang Bonifacio, a public square located in front of the Manila Central Post Office. It is named after Andres Bonifacio, the father of the Philippine Revolution. The square is an important place for public gatherings and protests. It is also a favorite ha hangout spot for students and workers in the vicinity. Now, we are in front of the Manila Central Post Office. It was designed by Juan Arellano, a renowned architect. This building signifies the importance of communication in our history. Despite the severe fire that occurred here on May 22, 2023, the post office continues to strive to rise and rebuild. This is a testament to the resilience and dedication of our countrymen. Now, let's explore the one must visit site. Manila Cathedral, the main church of the Archdiocese of Manila. Founded in 1581, it has been rebuilt several times due to earthquakes and wars. The current structure dates back to 1958, rebuilt after World War II. This cathedral has witnessed many significant events in Philippine history, including presidential ceremonies and other dignitary events. Now, we are at San Agustin Church, the oldest church in the Philippines, built in 1607. It is included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site as part of the Baroque Churches of the Philippines. This church has survived many earthquakes and wars, making it a living testament to the resilience and faith of the Filipinos. The interior of the church is known for its beautiful Baroque architecture and intricate carvings. It is a wonderful place to reflect on our past with loved ones. You can also check out the U.S. Historical Marker in Indramuros, a significant site that commemorates the rich history of the University of Santo Tomas. Established in 1611, U.S.D. hosted the station of being Asia's oldest existing Catholic University. This marker pays tribute to U.S.D.'s enduring legacy as a center of learning and culture in the Philippines. As you visit, you will gain the centuries of academic excellence and culture contributions that continue to shape Philippine society today. Let's head to Arceras Forest Park, also known as the Lost Lung of Manila due to the abundance of trees and plants here. The park covers an area of 2.2 hectares and has over 60 different species of trees and 8,000 plants. It is a beautiful place for those seeking peace in the midst of the bustling city. It is open to the public and can be considered a perfect place to rest. Let's visit the Pasig River Esplanade. This area is part of the rehabilitation of the Pasig River, one of the most important rivers in the country. During the Spanish colonial period, the Pasig River was the main route for trade and transportation, connecting Laguna de Bay and Manila Bay. It was also a vital source of water and livelihood for ancient communities around it. Over time, the Pasig River suffered severe pollution due to industrialization 
transportation and urbanization. However, in recent decades, rehabilitation programs have been implemented to restore the river's beauty and cleanliness. The goal is to create a public space for people to walk, bike, and relax while appreciating the river's history and nature. Another historic spot is Jones Bridge, a historic bridge in Manila that connects the districts of Binondo and Ermita. It was originally built in 1916 and named after William Atkinson Jones, a U.S. congressman who supported the Philippine independence. This bridge was designed by Juan Arellano in the neoclassical style. Today, it features walkways, benches, and lights that beautify the area, especially at night. The Esplanade offers a great view of historical landmarks and provides a pleasant place for residents and tourists. A special place where you can get up close with wildlife right in the heart of the city. Visit Manila Zoo. As you wander around, you'll meet a variety of animals from all over the world, each living in habitats that feels just like home, from majestic big cats to curious primates and colorful birds. Every visit brings a chance to learn about different species and their habitats. Whether you're here for a family outing with friends or simply curious about animals, Manila Zoo promises a fun and educational adventure for everyone to enjoy. Welcome to Manila Ocean Park, a magical destination brimming with marine wonders and delightful shows. Start your adventure with the playful sea lion show, where these clever animals will charm you with their tricks and antics. Then, be amazed by the bird show, featuring talented feathered performers showcasing their skills. Explore the different galleries like the Oceanarium, where you can walk around tunnels surrounded by colorful fish and majestic sharks. Don't forget to visit the serene jellyfish exhibit and the adorable penguin exhibit where you can learn about these fascinating creatures up close. Manila Ocean Parks promises an unforgettable experience filled with fun, learning, and incredible marine life encounters for visitors of all ages. Now, we are here in front of the Metropolitan Theater. This historic building was established in 1931 and is known for its Art Deco design. This theater has been a center of arts and culture in Manila. After decades of being forgotten, it is gradually being revived to once again serve as a home for arts and culture. The testament of the city's rich history and architectural heritage you can visit the Manila Clock Tower located in the Manila City Hall. The tower is designed in a neoclassical style characterized by its columns and pediments. It features a clock at the top which is a prominent feature visible from afar. This historic landmark stands tall bearing witness to the city's resilience and transformation over the centuries. Another historical place in Manila is Paco Park, where Dr. Jose Rizal was temporarily buried after being shot in Bagumbayan. The St. Pancratius Chapel is a small but very beautiful chapel in the middle of the park. There is also a marker for Gumburza, the three martyr priests, Mariana Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, who were also buried here in 1872. Their sacrifice inspired the revolutionary movement against the Spaniards. Let's visit Fort Santiago, a fortress built by the Spaniards in 1593 as part of their defense of Manila. It is open to the public with an entrance fee of 50 pesos for students. Please note that there are sensitive areas here, so it is important to follow the rules. Fort Santiago served as a prison for political prisoners during the Spanish and Japanese periods. One of the most notable prisoners here was Dr. Jose Rizal, who was incarcerated before being exiled to the Pitan. Next off to the Lego Museum in Intramuros. Here, history meets creativity with incredible Lego replicas of the iconic Old Manila churches within this historic walled city. As you wander through, you'll be amazed by the tiny details and craftsmanship that bring these beloved religious sites to life. Whether you're a Lego fan or just curious, you're in for a treat that blends fun with a bit of history. 
Rizal Park, a beautiful and historic oasis right in the heart of Manila. As you wander through, you'll discover key landmarks like the Jose Rizal Execution Site and the iconic Rizal Monument, each telling a story of the Philippines' past. Enjoy the peaceful atmosphere of the Chinese and Japanese gardens, perfect for a relaxing stroll. Rizal Park offers a mix of history, beauty, and tranquility that you won't want to miss. It is also worth visiting the Rizal Shrine located within Fort Santiago. It is a museum that pays tribute to the life and works of Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. The Rizal Shrine houses many of Rizal's memorabilia, including his writings and personal belongings. This shrine aims to inform visitors about the importance of Rizal's contributions to our country. To fully understand our national hero, visit this place and study his entire life. A warm greeting to Manila's lively Chinatown. This is the Binondo Welcome Arc, an iconic landmark that welcomes you into a neighborhood steeped in history and bustling with energy. Step through its grand gates and discover a vibrant community filled with markets selling fresh produce, aromatic food stalls offering Chinese delicacies, and ancient temples where traditions thrive. Whether you're here to shop, savor authentic cuisine, or simply soak in the atmosphere, the Benenda Welcome Arc invites you to explore and experience the heart of Manila's cultural diversity. Welcome to Binondo's legendary food stalls, where culinary delights awaits at every corner. Known as the oldest Chinatown in the world, Binondo offers an extraordinary adventure like no other. Each bite tells a story of centuries-old flavors and traditions. Whether you're a food enthusiast or simply curious, Binondo's bustling food stalls promise a delicious journey through the heart of Filipino-Chinese cuisine. Each corner of Manila offers a unique story, blending the old with the new. The warmth and hospitality of Filipinos will make you feel right at home, and you live with a deeper appreciation of our rich culture and history. So come and experience the beauty, excitement, and the heart of the Philippines. We look forward to sharing our wonderful city with you.